If you are an Amazon seller and running PPC, then you must know customer search terms, Amazon search term reports and adding negations because these are the very basic tasks of Amazon PPC. But still there are a few hidden sections where you didn't focus before. Did you know that you may waste over $10,000 on search terms that have less than 5 clicks? You always used to skip those search terms because of low clicks. But you never know how they end up with a big loss. This is Hassan from Ecom Clips, and in today's video, I will go through an Amazon search term report and I will analyze every single search terms that have at least one click. And finally, we will try to find out a solution how we can minimize most wasted spending. So, without any deal, let's start today's topic. So at first from my advertising account, let's go to the measurement and reporting section and then let's click on sponsored ads report. So from here, I want to create a new report. Let's select the category as a sponsored product, report type search terms and then I'm going to take the date range as far as I can. So it should be July 10 to last day and click on save then let's run the report here the report is ready so let's download this report so the report is ready let me first organize this report i am gonna cut down some column which is not actually necessary so at first let me filter this report now i am gonna check first the automatic campaign search terms so for this, I need to go to the targeting section and from here, let's select only the star. This is means actually the automatic campaign search terms. Now on the right hand side, I want to do another filtration. Let's check first only the search terms that didn't get any sales. So let's select only zero. And I want to sort with highest clicks. Now you can see the search terms that have highest clicks with no sales. And if I check, you can see there are over 33,000 clicks with no sales. And now if I check their spends, here you can see we have over $14,000 with zero sales. This amount is huge. So according to my target echoes, which is 20% and also based on my average CPC, I can consider maximum 15 clicks for getting an order. So any search terms that have already 15 clicks with no sales or have more than 15 clicks, I am going to put them as negative. So let's select those search terms. Now let's check also the search term that have sales but have higher echoes. If I sort with high echoes, and as my target echoes is 20%, so any search terms that have over 25% echoes, I'm going to put them as negative. So my automatic campaigns negations is done. Now let's see how much actually I could able to save. So from the automatic campaigns, I was able to select 120 search terms as negative. And let's see how much wastage is spent I could save. So it was around 2000. So from over $14,000, I could just save around $2,000 this way. Anyway, now let's check the manual campaign search terms. So from the targeting section, let's select all the targetings except the star mark. Now if I check only the broad and phrase match type and let's again check all the search terms that have zero cells and sort with clicks. So there are also a few search terms that have more than 15 clicks with no sales. So let's mark them first. And again, now let's check the high echoes. So I also have some terms that have high echoes. For example, like over 25% echoes. So let's mark them. Now let's see actually how much I could save from the manual campaigns. So I found 270 search terms as negative. And let's see how was their spendings so here also i could save over two thousand and five hundred dollars so i have identified the negative search terms from automatic campaigns and manual campaigns i know you all follow the same rules but still there is a huge gap because i already mentioned i have over fifteen thousand dollars as wastage spent 
where I could just save around maybe $5,000 following this way. Still, we have over $10,000 where we didn't get any sales, but we have clicks. Now the question is how we can minimize those spent. This is one of my customized search terms report. And here I have put the search terms report here and I created another tab where I did some analysis. For example, you can see from here I have over 19,000 search terms that have over 32,000 clicks with zero sales. And here I spent almost $15,000 which is 68% of my total advertising spend. And then you can see I have over 18,000 search terms that got less than 5 clicks with zero sales. And the clicks amount is also high which is over 24,000. And here I spent over $10,000. It's also the 71% of my wastage is spent. So basically we do not care about the search terms that have maybe 1 clicks, 2 clicks or 3 clicks. But if you check all the search terms that have less than 5 clicks, then you will see a high number of spent you are wasting here. Most of the cases, we check the search terms that have over 10 clicks or maybe 15 clicks. But we always skip this high number of wasted spent. So to avoid this wasted spent, you need to do n-gram analysis on your report. n-gram analysis is a technique where you can evaluate every single phrase of your search terms. Let me show you. Here I have another tab which is called search term split. Basically here I have splitted all the phrases of my search terms. For example, you can see the customer search term is Carolina shoes for men. And here I have separated all the phrases like Carolina shoes for and men. This way I have separated all the search terms that I have. And from here, if I just check a single thing, for example, like if I find the omens, you can see I have this phrase total 2018 times in my all search terms. If I just check omen, you can see now it's 558 times. Now the interesting thing is that I don't sell omens shoes. So I can simply put this word as negative phrase and I can save over thousand dollars. Now let's check another word. For example, if I check this word clerks, I can see it's available total 198 times. And this is my competitor's brand name. So I can simply put this as negative phrase and save that money. So this way you can identify all the common phrases in your search terms and you can pick them and put them into your campaigns and negative phrases. So following this way, you can avoid all the wastage spent that have at least one click. So that's all about Ngram analysis on Amazon search term report. I hope you understood the whole things, but still if you have any confusions or you want to know anything about Ngram analysis, you can simply comment us or you can email us at info at ecomclips.com. You can also visit our website www.ecomclips.com and review the blog on this topic. I will come back to you soon with another advertising topic. Till then, stay safe. Thank you.